Hello everyone, it's Melissa from the Turtle Nail Salon. Today I am going to be doing an updated tour of my nail studio. Enjoy! Welcome to my salon. This is the entryway and I have a chair there for my clients for when they come in they can take their shoes off or their boots. They'll throw their jacket on there or hang it on the back. Sometimes they will just put their jacket on the back of the chair at my desk. Really, it's whatever works for them. I'm not that fussy of a person. And then this is where what I like to say is all the magic happens. My nail table. This is custom made. It is fantastic. I love the design I did for it. And I just recovered it, so even loving it more. These frames are from when I took some C&D classes and then the ones that have create and dream over top is when I was featured in Nails Magazine and then my diploma is there as well. And this is just to the side of my desk. This is my polish wall with all of my wall racks. So I have a combination of my gel polishes, my regular polishes, my stamping polishes. It's just the best place for me to organize all of these because they're all easy to see and even my clients can just stare at them. So as I mentioned, my desk was custom made. I did the design for it. And then friends of ours uh, did the cutting for me. It's pine wood, three quarters of an inch thick. So I wanted it to be over an inch thick. So I bought extra wood just to make it uh, the right thickness for stability and support. Uh, the legs are from Ikea. They're the Girton leg so that I can adjust my desk. Um, and it's always stayed at a standing height, but I do tend to sit when I am working. It just kind of depends on what I feel like doing that day. My chairs are from Staples as well as my lamp and my lamp has a magnifying feature so I don't use it too often but if I want to do something really detailed and I need an up close view I can use the magnifier on my light and it works really well. I recovered my table with shelf liner from the dollar store and it worked amazing. In behind my desk, I have a adhesive chalkboard and on there I just write things like what I need to buy, if I've ordered something, if it's shipped, if it's arrived. I've got some special photos on there and then onto my desk in the corner I've got some sticky notes, a spray bottle with 99% IPA, my dust brush for the vacuum, an organizer unit from Michaels. They don't sell this one anymore, but you could still probably find one on eBay or Amazon or Etsy or wherever online. And then I've got my laptop here so that I can book appointments for my clients and play music during their service. And then this cup that my client gave me, it says, don't quit your daydream. Under my desk, I have my Alex drawer unit and some pedicure scrub, a tile, a gray cup holding my charging cords, my paraffin machine. This garbage can uh, actually belonged to my grandfather and it still has the original sticker on it and I think it was like $1.26. And then just to the right, I've got a little bit of pedicure supplies. And then down below on my Alex drawer unit, this is where I store everything that I use for the most part on a daily basis. All of my gels are in the top two drawers. And then I just have assorted items in the unlabeled drawers. And then again, what I use on a daily basis in the fourth drawer. I will be giving a tour of exactly what's in every drawer a little bit later on in this video. So stay tuned for that. And then where I'm working, I have a Valentino Beauty Pure event for sucking down all of the odors and the dust. It has a charcoal filter in it and it works so good. And then just on the outside of my desk underneath, I have another Alex drawer unit. This one is the five drawer unit and I have my printer sitting on it. This little mood my sister got that for me for my 40th birthday and it is just so adorable.
and that is my setup that I've got on the outside of my desk. This is usually where I set up my pedicure table to do lay down pedicures. I use a massage table, which works fantastic for me. And then in this drawer unit, I've got all of my wipes. I get these at Costco. I really like them. They're also a great price and they're good quality. In my next drawer, I have spare scrub brushes. The scrub brushes here I got from Premier Nail Source in Florida, and they are fantastic. Once a client decides they don't want to come anymore, I can literally throw these in the washing machine, put them on a soap and bleach cycle, and then disinfect them with my hospital grade disinfectant, and they are still standing up. The other scrub brushes, I'm not sure where I got them from. And then I've got my wax items that I use for my own personal waxing. I am not licensed to wax anyone. I'm not trained. So I just kind of keep it in there along with the extra heads and then the muslin and all of my wax. In this next drawer, I've got some mani-pedi items. Uh, I don't really use the soak dish anymore at all, but I've got cuticle sticks, extra buffers. The larger buffers I would only be using on myself, and I, those are brand new. I've never even used them. I've got my enhancement files, my manicure files, my credo blades, which I rarely ever use. And then more of my pedicure supplies that I really don't use that often. Little dishes for holding soak, uh, more of my pedicure implements, and then my foot file um, attachments there for my handheld. And then in this drawer, I know it looks like a hot mess, but I literally know where everything is. This is actually the cover for my light on my table. And then I have an extra um, Swarovski crystal container, a little light because the power goes out a lot, kind of like a bunch of junk in that little drawer. Um, not the drawer, sorry, that little container. Um, and then uh, some rainbow fish um, characters that were on a mobile that I have to fix still. Those filters are for the one on my desk. And then I still have the parts for my UV lamp because I still use my UV lamp when I am doing pedicures. And I have plans for that item. I just haven't put them through yet. And then those smaller filters are for the vent I use when I do pedicures. And then just the cords, my gift certificates, batteries, and then you can't see it, but I have a mortar and pestle in there for bl custom blending additives together. This is uh, my social media drawer. So I have my extra phones in there that have zero batteries. So I have to plug them in when I'm using them. Uh, my stands. And this is the recorder I used when I was in school to record lectures. And then I actually have a couple of little tripods that I can attach to walls, chairs, whatever. And then I've got my phone case and in that box I've got stuff for a giveaway. I just haven't gone through on the giveaway yet. And then back to the drawer that is where I am sitting. So I've got my electric file in there and then my brush holder. And then underneath my brush holder I have all of my C&D additives. And then I have the Fusion Chameleon uh, colors that came out for winter 2020. As well I've got the En Vogue spider gels and the Wildflower spider gels and then I picked up the Wildflowers puffy paints that I all ordered from Creata. The chrome is right there. I ordered online. I don't know from where. And then the Beamy metal leaf gels came from Atlantic Nail Supply. I've got my magnets back there for my magnetic polish, my sanding bands, wipes and my forms. This next drawer, I have my nail art tools in the black roll-up. And then I have all of my color swatches for my gel polish, my gels and whatnot. I have a polish bottle shaker and some paraffin strips and foil. And then underneath the little white jars are all custom mixed gels that I did. And then I figured out how my ring light comes apart. So now I have it stored in my drawer. I'm so glad I figured that out because it kind of took up a lot of space in the corner of my salon. So now it also won't get dusty. And then this is my PPE drawer and my go-to basket drawer. So I've got my masks in there and then Kleenex because I always have a super runny nose. And I've got gloves that I wear while I'm working because I get really bad eczema. And then in my basket, I've got all of my uh, like bonders, primers, dehydrators, 
my gels, my top coats, um, my prep stuff. Uh, that's basically it that's in there, but I pull it out for every service. That way I'm not digging in my drawer all the time for it. And then I have little glue applicators in behind there. This, the most important drawer, completely empty, ready for more things to come, hopefully. And then in the bottom drawer, it's just like all of my extras that I really don't use. So on the side, the black dividers are for my zebra train case. And then I've got my box where I have my own scrub brush, my own file, extra glitter, extra googly eyes, uh, attachments for my crystal katana. I've got um, texture polish, I have crackle and magnetic polish, more crackle, a little bit of Vinylux, and then all of my extra shellac, and then that gel um, container, I don't really use it, so that's why it's in the bottom. On my polish wall, I have all of my Ugly Duckling magnetic polishes. I love their packaging. It is amazing. And then going up above that, I have all of my shellac colors. They are all organized by collection and that works best for me. And my clients find they can actually see the colors better. And then above that, I've got my stamping polishes, the Queen brand and all of my Vinylux colors. And then just to the left is the rest of my shellac from the inaugural collection all the way down to the most current collection, which is December 2020. And then in my drawer unit, this first drawer I use for garbage. I'm really bad at emptying garbages. So I decided if I have a small garbage, I will empty it more often and it actually does work. Then I've got all of my stamping plates. I have Queen, Molu London, Clear Jelly Stamper. And then up here, just a bunch of little things and my Happy Planner, Stapler and Tape. So this spray bottle I got at Cosmoprof, but it's not designed for use with alcohol. So the mechanism actually broke. So I went to the dollar store and got a replacement nozzle and I'm using that. And then in this other drawer, I've got my eyeglass cloth. And then that's all of my charity items for Movember when I do a donation from my clients to our local EMS Movember team. And this Lazy Susan has been in our kitchen cupboard forever and I decided to start using it and I love it. It takes up way less space. This cart from Michaels is probably one of the best investments I ever made. I can put all of my nail art in here and roll it back and forth to wherever I need it. All of these glitters are from Glitter Haven Australia. I really like them superior quality. I would definitely order more from them. And then I've got my crystal katana for doing application with all of my rhinestones and my crystals, reinforcements for doing nail art. I did get a little baggie of glitter, I think from Canada, no, sorry, from Atlantic Nail Supply. I just haven't put it into a container yet. All of my striping tape is there in dispensers. And then I have the Fimo shapes. I have them all sorted by category in Ziploc bags. I just need to go through and slice them all and then put them into containers as well. Then I've got all my Sharpie markers for doing Sharpie nail art. These are my non-primary colors. Those are my neon colors and metallic. And then these ones are my primary colors. And I just put them into little cups that we got at the movie theater when we went to the movies. It works well for me, so I went with that route. And the best glue ever came highly recommended from Robin Moses Nail Art. She said it's amazing for doing foil application. So I did d finally decide to order some. And then I've got all of my little containers for storing my rhinestones. These are acrylic rhinestones, so you can file them off or you can use your nippers or nail clippers to cut them off. And I've got a ridiculous collection of different shapes, different sizes, stars, hearts, flowers, there's butterflies, moons, um, 
yeah, there's like literally everything. And every now and then I say to myself, you know, I should probably get rid of some of these. But then like my anxiety brain is like, but I might come back in style. You better keep it. So of course I keep literally all of them. And I have used them through the years, but they just last so long. And then I've got my Swarovski Crystal Nail Art Case. I really like this case. It works fantastic. I did have to break one of the jars so it doesn't have a lid, but I did keep it just in case I find a use for it later. And then I have more that are just coated by color. They're all different sizes. These are smaller versions of that first container. And then these are like sequins and whatnot. I've probably really never used these, but again, it's just keeping it in case I will use it. And I don't really have them in there in any particular order because it just really depends what my clients are looking for. I usually pull all of them out so they can look at them. I also have business cards in here that I ordered from Vistaprint. And then in the little container in behind, I have uh, bouillon beads or caviar beads. I can't quite remember what they're called, but I got most of them at the dollar store. Some came in some of my orders from online, but they're really nice. Fun to work with too. And then just extra cotton wipes just in case I need them. On to the second row here. I have some acrylic paints. I haven't used these very many times, but I find that they're really compact and I have all my color selection there. So that's why I like those. Same thing with this one. These ones are just the flat paints, acrylic as well. The previous ones had like a pearlized finish. So I like, yeah, I like using these. My favorite though, is the bottles of paint i get the craft smart the folk art the dollar store whatever kind of color i'm looking for and just wherever i am these are some iridescent foils i cannot wait to use these they are so gorgeous and these halloween ones oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited for halloween i cannot wait to use these foils and then I found two Christmas ones. These um, containers here, they came with their foils uh, from Amazon. And these are so adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to use these. Even though I know we're still in the winter, but I can't wait to use them. And then all of these other foils, they are from dollarnailart.com. And I ordered those when I first started my salon and they last forever. These nail art books that I have, they are from Chapters, uh, Indigo Books and McNally Robinson. These are fantastic because they will give you step by step on how to do nail art. I tend to overthink things and make it more complicated when I'm doing artwork. So these books really simplify it for me. And then this one, I have no idea where I got it, but it has fantastic designs in it. I do need to make an effort and go through it and start replicating or practicing some of those designs. And my black binder here just helps me keep everything organized from my decals. I have every rhinestone in there. I've got stamping plates, uh, feathers, foils. Yeah, all kinds of things in here. And on to the bottom of my cart, I have a Brother P. Touch labeler. It's, this is the scrapbooking one. Uh, it uses a little more tape than the other ones that I would like, but I got that for $5, so I'm not going to complain. I have an extra cartridge. This is also my mannequin hand from when I was in school. I nicknamed her Elizabeth, so I practice skills on her. 
And then I have two socks in my cart. They act like sleeves when I'm doing photography. It's such a great trick. Leg warmers work too. And then I've got all of my clear tips in here. That one's a full cover tip. The rest are all just a tip, but you can still use them for practicing nail art. I also have some star nail tips sitting in the back there. And then this is my magnetic tip holder. And then in this cup, I've just got some chrome samples that I was working on to see what kind of cure time worked the best and such. I also have my screws and my bolts in there for holding all of my swatch sticks together. Some extra rings that came with some swatch sticks, my tip clipper, and then all of my swatch sticks. So I have a clear square a clear stiletto white stiletto black stiletto and in this other cup it's kind of hard to see but i actually have some clear and white stiletto tips that you can glue on if someone wanted really long nails and then this is nail art that i did on some color pops they're very big so i don't really display them because they're a little bit unrealistic in this corner across from my table, I've got my laundry hamper, my pedicure laundry, my towels, my disinfecting station, my wax patches. This is where my clients sit if they have to wait. And then in the corner, I also have all of my pedicure items and my zebra train case. And that is the finished look of my table. Well, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to ring the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post a video. Bye!